Hi guys, today's logical reasoning puzzle is what is the best way to break the 40 kilogram stone as a merchant? So imagine you are running a small store, like a, like a convenience store, where you have a lot of customers who request for rice, um, like different, different items, right? Rice, sugar, salt. So what you are gonna do is, you are using a common balance. You put weight on one side of the common balance and you put the equivalent amount of commodity and that's how you trade. Let's say somebody comes and asks for nine kilos of, of sugar, let's say. So you don't have exactly nine kilos of stone. So what do you do? You put 10 kilos on one side and one kilo on the other side. So so you can play with, with a few stones here and there and get the weight that you want, that the customer wants, right? So now, now you, you, all you got is 40 kilograms of stone. No other stones are available for you, but you can break this stone into four pieces, okay? Now, you can break it down in any which way you want. For example, you can break it down as four, seven, 14, and 15, or you can break it down into five, eight, 12, and 15, whatever, whatever combination you feel like. it. But here is the kicker. You should be able to cater for all the integer weights that your customer is gonna ask. If someone comes to me and say like, I want 33 kilos of wheat, you should be able to do that. I want 39 kilos of sugar. You should be able to do that with those combination, playing those, with those weights. So how would you break that down? That is the question. What is the best way in which you can break that down so you can cater for any request up to 40 kilos, one, two, up to 40 kilos by any customer? Okay, so I want, to, I want you to pause the video and think about it. I hope you pause the video and here is the solution. So the first logical way, I mean, if you have got the answer, congratulations, first of all, that's fantastic. And the way you should come to this solution is not by random trial and error, but I would give you a logical way in which you can get to the answer. So I said any weight should be catered. So that means weight one must be catered, weight 39 must also be catered. When I say weight 39 must be catered, the only way in which weight 39 can be catered is at least that three of them must add up to 39. There is no other way. Okay, so one of the weights must be one. The first weight is one kilo. Okay, now can you do two kilos with this or can you do three kilos with this? So if you, let's say the next weight is two kilos. Let's just write two kilos. Now, there is redundancy here. Now, if someone asks for one kilo of uh, sugar, you can either use one kilo stone or you can either put two kilo on one side or one kilo on the other side. That is unnecessary. So you would rather have two kilos by difference. So the next weight should be three kilos. Now, if you have three kilos, now you can have one kilo, two kilo, which is three minus one, which is two, and four kilo, which is three plus one, which is four. You can cater up to four different weights, right? Now, you can't cater five. Now five, you want to cater with the difference again. Now, so you, you can, with one and three, you can manage up to four, but to get five, you get the difference, so you get nine. Now with nine, you have one, two, three, four, and then five as a difference, and then you have six, three min nine minus six, three is six, and then, Nine plus one minus three is 10, and 11 and 12 and 13. You got all the way till 13, right? And the next one is automatically, like there's only four weights, automatically that is 27. So one, three, nine, and 27, that is your answer. For those who got it, congratulations. Thank you very much.